You know, I when I first uh, came to Lycoming was the summer of 2004. It was actually four days before Oshkosh. So this is kind of my fourth year anniversary. And for those who have been following Lycoming since uh, I came on board and we kind of stood up a, a new leadership team and started taking the company a new direction, it's been very exciting. Starting in January of, of 05, working with our customers, figuring out where the businesses were going, the industry was going, looking at the global picture, looking at things like fuels, alternative fuels, looking at electronics, looking at the light sport market, the experimental market, all those things. And here we are now, three years later, after a lot of hard work, to announce some very, very exciting product developments. And the first big one that you're gonna see, it's, it's still behind the uh, black cloth over there, but we are very proud and excited to announce our new IE2, fully electronic engine. This is a propri proprietary design, okay? Fully integrated, this is not a bolt-on system, this is a fully electronic system. It's gonna set the new standard for piston aviation, no question. You're gonna see it's on our AE2A, it's a 350 horsepower twin turbo. We started with one of our most complex engines, not only because there's a demand at the high end for this, but we're gonna have this integrated electronics across the family of our engines, which is very exciting. The system is designed to optimize safety, simplicity, and cost. Again, you'll get more details later on that. The other beauty of this, and this is a foundational effort for us, because you think about alternate fuels and heavy fuel engines, okay? This is gonna become the standard because this system is multi-fuel capable. It's designed around each cylinder, okay? So it's, not a, it's, a, it's a holistic system kind of thing, but it's also designed around each cylinder. So a lot of optimization that's going on, a lot of redundancy in the system, you'll get all those details. Um, we're looking to certify it uh, near the end of this year. So very exciting, it's called the IE2, Integrated Electronics. Brand new, state of the art, it's gonna be the standard for piston, in, for piston aviation, no question. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly, or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. The second thing that uh, we have over at our booth you're gonna see, and you guys all know it's been going on light sport, and looking at uh, the OEMs out there and their migration towards light sport platforms and things like that, and we are very excited to announce our new IO233 light sport engine. It's basically an O235, a bulletproof O235 that we put on a weight reduction and added some, some, some nice improvements. For example, it's got um, a throttle body fuel injection, it's got electronic spark ignition, and yes, it's also multi-fuel capable. It's got a 2400 uh, hour TBO. And you'll see over at our booth, we've got a, a light sport aircraft over there with a stock O235, but we're, we're very excited that a lot of the OEMs out there and a lot of the other players are gonna be very interested in this solution. Not only because it shows Lycoming with a, a viable solution light sport, but you get that service and reliability of our company behind it. And we're looking to certify that this year. Third thing um, that we're announcing is our new Lycoming Echelon program. What's the Echelon program? We are conscientiously going after, okay, looking at legacy fleets out there, legacy products, and putting in a brand new Lycoming engine. So for example, the Cessna 177 RG is at our booth. That's our first program we're announcing for our Echelon program. It's a firewall forward solution, very affordable firewall forward solution for that, for that uh, product group. It's got a Macaulay prop. It's gonna have Cessna financing behind it. And the best part about it is that it's gonna have a certified IO390, right? That's an engine we launched several years back. 210 horsepower, I fly that engine, it's awesome. And that air, airplane with 210 horsepower is gonna be phenomenal. So we're very excited about that. Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500. 
The jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. You also probably picked up on two other things that we announced early on, about a month ago before Oshkosh. The first was our IO and O360 autom automotive gas program. Okay, so those two engines, right, we are working to certify on alternate fuels. And we're working with the OEMs, right? We're challenging them to start thinking about certifying the airplanes with those engines. Okay, so you can kind of see a common theme going through here. Uh, we've also announced on July 8th our Thunderbolt Signature Series TIO 360. Right, turbo normalized 360, 180 horsepower, 20,000 foot elevation. Um, it's also got alternate fuel capability. And so again, four or five years ago, Lycoming was struggling to think about our future and where we were going. And now here we are, three and a half, four years later, with one of the best teams, I would argue, in the business. Probably the most stable we've ever been in about a decade. And within the last 10 years, finally, above and beyond roller tappets and fuel controls, really launching brand new engines. State-of-the-art engines that are geared towards where the industry is going, where our customers are going, thinking about the alternate fuel picture, Okay, and providing alternate solutions.